Hello. Here's my new experimental steel. It's not a usual steel, it's steel for petrol and diesel fuel separation. Uh, those people who accidentally fill up their cars with the wrong fuel probably know what does it mean. So here, here the steel. We've got the temperature here. Now it runs at 169, 170 degrees Celsius, so it's a continuous steel. Here you can see petrol. It's getting out milky and after a few hours it's gonna be transparent. Here's a diesel, diesel fuel. Separated into a separate vessel. Here you can see mix. It's absolutely separate, could be as far away as you can, as you can place it. I keep some damp cloth on top of this jar, otherwise it's gonna evaporate. It's petrol. Now you can see continuous process of fuel separation. So with this tiny steel you can efficiently separate petrol from diesel and reuse them again. Or use it for whatever needs you need. Our distillation is finished. So here you can see it's still dribbling a little bit because the temperature is still around 166 so we've been running our distillation uh, at 190 constantly so it's been almost 100% recovery here I've got 5 liters of diesel fuel and almost 4 liters of petrol so it's been total 6 liters of diesel fuel and 4 liters of petrol. Uh, so the machine itself to work properly still contains around 1 liter of diesel fuel in this container. And it can be removed very easily. There's a special valve underneath. So it's a... Everyone can retrieve all the fuel completely. Uh, there is almost 4 liters of petrol there is a sum still in the machine a little bit still in the pump and in the tube so technically uh, I would say it's a 100% recovery very good result so here you can see special hydrometer to measure diesel fuel and petrol now we're gonna test our petrol what it's gonna show us so the top scale uh, the higher the scale the better the petrol
so we got good results for petrol and we're gonna measure our diesel fuel as well It shows perfect diesel fuel, just the way it's supposed to be. Sorry, the hydrometer is Russian, it says DT, diesel fuel. So it's just perfect. Just want to say a few words about coloring. So, actually, petrol used to have a little bit of color. Because technically, uh, when petroleum getting distilled on refinery, uh, there's a some certain percentage of other fractions, including diesel and probably heavy heavy ones like bitumen, that actually gives a color to the petrol, especially when it's yellow or sort of darkish, reddish. Uh, Sometimes there's a special coloring that edits specially to the fuels to define the uh, octane ratio or something. So when you redistill it like that, the fuel doesn't have any color. It will become a little bit yellowish later, later on because of natural oxidation or something. But now it's like a water, it's transparent. So this is the color every petrol is supposed to have so all those additives actually makes make some uh, tar forming on your in your cylinders on your pistons but this one is a clear one now you can see the glass container is our steel so we're gonna recover all the fuel that's still left in the steel so in this case it's a diesel So here's all 6 liters of diesel that we used at the beginning and 4 liters of petrol. Thank you. Bye.